Today is April 8th, 2008, and I look like I'm in the Matrix with these glasses on. And I'm really not looking at the camera, but you can't tell because I'm wearing sunglasses. It's not the coolest thing. Okay, so I lied last night when I said I was going to um, watch Brother Where Art Thou because I didn't. I fell asleep. Whoops. And right now, I have to practice my violin because I didn't practice all week and I was supposed to. And my lesson is in like 20, wait, like 40 minutes. And yeah, gotta practice. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. Wee. Oh yeah, and I gotta dress a goth someday. This would this do it? I don't think so. Okay, gotta practice. I just had to tell you that I'm really upset that that wig messed up my bangs. And I just took a shower, so they're gonna have to stay like this. <coughs> My hair looks pretty intense like this, huh? It bounces really cool. <laughs> Anyways, since I can't think of anything else better to do, I thought I would read you a story. I chose Corduroy. Okay. By Dawn Freeman. Mm -hmm. Book reviews say, a winning, completely childlike picture book. The simple warmth of the story is reflected in colorful illustrations. The art and story are direct and just right for very young. And it is dedicated to Sally Elizabeth Kildo and Patrick Stephen Duff Kildo, who know how a bear feels about buttons. Okay, so here it goes. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in a toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said. Look, there's the fairy bear I've been wanting. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost a button to one of his shoulder straps. Look at his shoulder strap. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. Look how sad. I didn't know I lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight I'll go and see if I can find it. Look, he wants to go find it. <laughs> Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Look, he's searching. 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 <laughs> Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped on the, onto an escalator, and up he went. Look, there's escalator. Could this be a mountain? He wondered. I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. Look, it looks like a mountain. But it's not. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there, before his eyes, was the most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be the place, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. Look, he thinks it's a palace, but it's really just a room full of beds at a department store. <laughs> he wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled onto the large, thick mattress. Thick mattress. And all, all at once he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried. 
and he tried to pick it up. But, like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. Look, it's tied down tight. He yanked and pulled with both paws until POP! Off came the button, and off the mattress Corroy toppled. Look, he's toppling, toppling, toppling. Bang! Into a tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. Crash! <laughs> Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. Dashing. Now who in the world did that? he exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. He flashed his light under and over the sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up under the covers. Hello? he said. How did you get upstairs? The corduroy's all scared. The watchman tucked corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. Look, he's taking him. There! Yep. Corduroy was just waking up when the first customers came into the store the, in the morning. And there, looking at him, with a wide, warm smile, was the same little girl he had seen only the day before. Look, there's the little girl. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. Look, she's going to bring him home. Shall, shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried Corduroy home in her arms. Look, in her arms. She ran all the way up the four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight into her own room. She's running, running, running. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers, and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like that enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. There's a little bed right there. Lisa sat down with corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are she said. But you'll you'll be more comfortable with a shoulder strap fastened. Look, she's fastening his shoulder strap. Mm -hmm. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and gave him a big hug. The end. Yay! Okay, bye-bye. Right now we're watching the OC, and Colleen would be very proud. Look. Oh, this part's kind of dumb. Why would I help you with your case? Tomorrow I'll meet with the guy and all the FBI thinks it finally happening. But we gotta let go of the past. Don't you think? I don't like this chick. Yeah, I know. Well, that's what you're gonna have to do. Well, I don't like this chick. Was dumb. <laughs> Check on my brother. Where does he go? You hiding? He always wanted to be scared. Check out how messy we are. Well, There's the brother. What's he doing? Wagua. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do it really bad without Sammy around. <laughs> oh.